So now we're going to cover how to whiten and brighten eyes and change the eye color. So for this, I'm going to zoom right in, command space bar, click and drag, zoom right in on the eye, get onto my lasso tool with the L key, and I'm going to make a selection of the white here, a little sample section. Now I'm going to come down to adjustment layers, click on hue and saturation, and it's very easy to whiten eyes if once you've already cleaned them up. And all you have to do is, under saturation, you can just desaturate that part of the eye, and then come down to lightness and bump it up a little bit. And my usual default settings for whitening and brightening eyes are under saturation. I like to have negative 60 is generally my default. Doesn't always work, but we'll give it a go. Negative 60, and under lightness, I normally have it sitting at about 20, so I'll type in 20. And it's looking okay at the moment. Obviously, if I option click on my mask, it's very harsh. So all I'm going to do is fill my mask with black, Black is currently my background color, so command delete to dump my background color into my mask, so that's filled. Option click on the mask to bring me back to my image. Onto my brush tool with the B key at 100%, so double zero. Reduce my brush a little bit with the left bracket key and just paint that layer in. Just like this. Now I'm just going to pan out a little bit, command minus a couple of times, just to see if we are improving the eye and not going a little bit too far. Well, that looks pretty good so far. However, sometimes I find this little white edge a little bit too harsh. And with most eyes, just underneath the lid is quite often a very faint shadow. So it's a little bit darker just underneath the lid. So what I'm going to do is, while I'm still on my brush tool, I'm going to flip, I'm going to hit X to flip my black to my foreground, increase my brush just a little bit, and reduce my opacity down to about 30% by hitting the 3 key. And on my mask, I'm just going to brush a little bit of that layer mask away so it's not quite so bright at the very top of the eye there. Before and after. And that's looking pretty good.